What's up fellow racers? I'm back. And today's video is an important video. It's my continuation of a very old video called 7A FE Crank Info. Well, this is 7A FE Crank Info and must do. All right, this is my car. Some of you may know, some of you may not know that I spun the flywheel bolts and I destroyed the ARPs. <clears throat> this has been happening a little bit more often since I've been making more power. So today I'm going to show you what has been done. See here, not the best work, but we have dowel pinned um, the crank. I've got it machined and dowel pinned. I have to finish cleaning up some stuff around here. So that's why it's not the best work because I haven't finished cleaning up the dirt and scuff. But this is necessary because when you get to higher RPM and over 500, um, even for it could happen even at 450. Who knows? I haven't had it happen yet. But I was first I was backing out bolts, and now I'm at the point where I'm snapping them because they're not backing out anymore. Um, I was told this is good for you know six, seven, eight hundred horsepower, which is necessary for a 7A. If you're cranking, if you're if you're building or planning to build a 7AG, because it's a six bolt, you know. Um, Hole, six bolt no, hole. So it, it's it's actually a little bit inferior to the 4AG because 4AG has eight holes. So I mean, this crank isn't technically that inferior to the 4AG. Um, it is forged, and I've been telling people for years that this crank will not break that easy. Um, if you look here, there's forged markings, and if you look here, sorry, it's light. These are also forged markings. So that big here forge mark. Now, if you saw a little straight line going across, that would be a cast. So this is actually forged. So you will know on cranks by these forging marks, these thick marks, not a straight little line. It looks like two pieces put together. So as far as the crank, um, yes, you can rip to eight, nine grand. You have to balance it. Um, I wasn't balancing it for a while to push it to see what was going on. And I'll eventually crack some caps, ladders, some of you may know. Um, but this baby right here shouldn't... Um, uh, break the bolts as much uh, because there's extra force so it's not shearing the bolts the sh bolts are shearing so they had these uh, bolts when they were snapped they look like vanilla ice cream you know coming out of a dispenser so they had a little swirl at the end so you know there was shears twisting twisting force so these would help it so um, the reason why it was shearing also is because six bolts doesn't have enough clamp force on the crank so without enough clamp, uh, clamp force the, the flywheel was turning the bolts and twisting them but with these here they won't twist as much. It won't actually probably will stop it from twisting. So um, it should help a lot. So um, you guys, if you guys are planning to go rev high, run some big power, six bolts is not gonna cut it after a while. And the more you go, the higher your RPM. So um, I advise to get the crank dowel pinned. Um, it's, it's a major uh, thing to do. And the, the flywheel and the whole bottom assembly, everything balanced with your bottom end. Um, the crank, don't worry about bending it if you're drag racing. Maybe circuit, it, there's a potential chance of bending it, which I've heard from professionals overseas. Um, over 500 horsepower and in several laps or whatnot, but they're constantly, constantly on it. Um, for drag racing, like most of you do in Jamaica, or very few in the U.S., but mostly in Jamaica and the islands, the Caribbean islands, you guys are drag racing, so I wouldn't worry so much about the crank bending. Um, these cranks can handle a thousand wheel um, and short stress loads I reached out to some people in South Africa who've been doing it um, stock crank and pretty much proved my point over years that these cranks are very um, underrated um, overlooked underrated people have always been afraid to do it I've been doing it for years people are now doing it more often I, I'm seeing it myself people are, are more confident in their 7 AGs they're confident to rev it that's a great thing actually I mean People like me and a few others who make some videos, it's it's good that you know you guys are inspired by it. I'm glad you guys watch my channel, some of you. But uh, I hope you get this done in the future because you don't want to shear bolts. It's a pain in the butt because you have to pull your whole motor apart just to get it out. Um, yeah, so if you're doing some AG, please get that done. Um, I'm just telling you because I do this stuff for years. I push for years and that's what I do. I do all the damage for you guys. I break for you. I have the funds to do it for you guys. Funds are getting tighter now, but I'm the one who does it for you guys, so you guys don't have to uh, spend your money. Hey guys, and before I finish to my conclusion of today's episode, I want to say guys, um, Jesus loves you guys. Um, I hope you guys seek him and get close to Christ, because we're going to live in 
crazy times. Um, false prophets are rising everywhere. Christians are being persecuted overseas. We have the rise of fake Christians, fake uh, evangelicals. We have false preaching. We have everything. And I just encourage you guys to, you know, repent. Like you know, Jesus said, repent. You know, He will renew your mind, give you a new mindset of your sins so you can be forgiven and ask for forgiveness because I would love to see you guys one day. I love you all, man. And I would like to shake your guys' hands and give you guys hugs, some of you out there, you know. And plus those of you who are, are kind of iffy on the subject with Christ. And I encourage you to seek him because he was exclusive when he said, I am the Savior of the world. No other body, no one else was. And remember, Jesus walked the earth. You know, he wasn't an idol or made of wood or gold. And um, I would encourage, I can't keep encouraging you guys to seek Christ, put down fleshly desires and passions and give some time to God and get to know him, read his word because time is, is com coming short. You don't know if you have tomorrow. Um, you know, you want to be with Christ, you want to be God, you want to have eternal life. You don't want to be in an everlasting place where sin is quarantined and fire, you know. Um, so I encourage you guys, you know, to get close with God, you know, put him first. And then when you have your free times, work on your cars, your four AGs, seven AGs, you know, do your thing, but put him first. Because um, even in my heart, he's pushing me to say, you know, Chris, it's a time you got to put this Corolla behind you forever, you know. And um, one day I'm going to be putting out a video, my final video, you know, because I have to go, you know. But for now, um, get close with God, you know, and uh, repent and be baptized, like Jesus said for remission of sins and to receive the Holy Spirit so he can help you change and come out of your addictions, you know, pornography, you know, alcoholism, you know, lust, you know, homosexuality, whatever you guys are struggling out there. But I encourage you guys to seek Christ to set you free and give you true joy. And uh, now to the conclusion part. So basically in conclusion, you know, get it all done, you know. Um, I recommend it if you're planning big power or big turbos you definitely gonna need the the dial pins um they will help i i, I would say you know 40 percent increase on holding it from shearing or more it could be more i mean three pins i measure them they're probably about equal to an extra bolt and a half or almost two i'd say roughly two so it's like having eight bolts a little bit but just not the same clamp force so be aware of that um this method is easier than actually doing oversized ARPs in the crank. So um, this would be less, co uh, less cost effective and um, it won't uh, weaken the outside of the crank journal by you know drilling a bigger hole, you're taking away metal. Well, that's what I was recommending not to do anymore. So I'm approaching this, uh, this method with the uh, dial pin. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned, all right? And rev that 7A bottom end high as you can if you build it. Oh, and one more thing. That crank won't break because I said so.